Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we're going to create a gel light effect using DIY color reflectors. A few weeks ago, I posted a video and I made some DIY reflectors using gift wrap from the dollar store. Now in that video, I decided to make some color reflectors. I did uh, one in red and one in blue. I really liked that it had created a colorful cast on my subject. So I decided to go back to the dollar store and see if I can find some more uh, colorful paper or color foil so I can make more reflectors and make some images. If you'd like to check out that DIY reflector video, I will uh, link it above here um, so you can check it out. Now the filler paper that I used for those reflectors um, looks something like this. Um, there's four sheets in a pack and again these are from the dollar store and I was able to find uh, four colors. Well they have more colors but these are the ones I chose. So the colors I chose were green, purple, blue, and red. And I really liked the gold from the last video, so we're also gonna use that today. So today, my model is my best friend, Kim, and I'm so glad I don't have to use myself this week. <laughs> Self-portraits are great, and I enjoy them a lot, but I'm kind of wanting to shoot other people, so I'm really thankful that she was able to uh, be a part of this video this week. She has uh, beautiful tattoos on her arms and uh, they're very colorful, uh, very vibrant. So I'm really excited to use her as a model. Of course, she's beautiful. And I think with the color reflectors, um, it'll really help bring out those, those tattoos in her arms. To set up, I just put up my black backdrop and uh, one soft box off in the corner. Other materials that I used in this shoot were my tripod, my remote, my 24 millimeter lens, and of course my reflectors. Now in this instance, I decided to use my remote because I didn't have an assistant to help me with the reflectors. So it was easier for me to put the camera on the tripod, hold the reflector where I wanted it, and then uh, use my trigger or my remote in order to be able to do both jobs at the same time. So for these images, we used two different methods. So the first method we used was just using the softbox uh, to reflect the light and back onto my subject. This method was a little bit trickier, uh, but after playing around with it, we were able to get some nice results. For the second method, I used my cell phone light shining directly onto the reflectors and that created a stronger cast onto my subject. Now, if you were to combine colors like I did at some point, I held my reflectors like so and shined my light about where the two colors met, like so. And that created, um, again, a stronger cast and I was able to combine colors. Okay, so final thoughts. Um, so I think that the pictures, once again, I always say this, but turned out better than I thought they would. I was starting to get a little discouraged with the first method because it wasn't, the cast wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be or I thought that it would be. Um, also certain colors are much darker, so they're harder to create a, a cast. Like the blue was kind of, um, 
probably the least successful, but I would say the most successful were the red and the gold. The second method, I believe was the best, most successful because you could combine colors and the cast was much stronger. The fun thing about this method as well is that um, you don't have to have a DSLR or mirrorless camera. You can easily shoot these types of photos on your cell phone. Um, just use someone else's cell phone or a flashlight and you can create this effect and take some really great selfies or portraits or whatever you want. If any of you guys try out these methods, please tag me, I'd love to see. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at, at Christina Ramos Photography. Thank you again for all of your support so far. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. And just remember, with a little imagination and creativity, you can make whatever you want. See you next time. Bye! In this little... Get it together. Oh, that's gonna be... Where's my mic? Where's my mic? Really it fell? Really it fell? Really? Come on. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> That's fine. Ah! Pushed back into the corner. Of course, hot up boot. We just used a soft box as our light source um, and we use that to reflect the light off of the light of the light. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh.